Maddie. So on my YouTube banner, the first words you see are Bible study. And that's because I am a Christian. I am a Christian. God, praise the Lord. So I'm a Christian and you see, you see the glowing skin I just in my skincare routine, you know. But anyways, back on topic. I am a Christian and our jobs as Christians are spreading the word. So this title is going to be a generous life. Because as Christians, we got to be generous. We can't be mean, we can't be hateful. Leave that to the world. We got to be generous. We got to be kind. Oh, I thought the book was inside. But like, as a child of God, like you gotta be kind to people. You can't be hateful, you can't gossip. Leave that to the world. You are a child of God, okay? Be kind and be loving, okay? Love everyone around you, love your neighbors, love yourself, and love God. Now let's get into this video. So our starting verse is coming from Acts 2, 42 to 2, 47. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and prayers. Then fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now all who believed were together and had all things in common and sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all as anyone had need. So continuing daily with one according in the temple, and breaking bread from so our starting verse into a generous life it's going to be acts 242 to 247. let's dive in the bible y'all shall we yep i gotta highlight it because i'm special I, i'm slow like i can't find these y'all okay and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and the breaking of bread and, and prayers. Then fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now all who believed were together and had all things in common and sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all as anyone had need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and and of heart. I'm just gonna say that because I don't know how to say the word. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Praising God and favor with all people and the Lord added to the church daily who the, those who were being saved. A girl can't read, but if y'all want to look it up, it's Acts 2, 42 through 2, 47. I've highlighted. Don't, doesn't the colors, don't mind the yellow, but doesn't the pink and green remind you of the very odd parents? To me is the narrow skin and no one understands. Mom and dad and Vicky always giving him commands. Okay, my bad. But doesn't, like, it wasn't just me. Like, that song just popped up in my head when I was on the it's like a trend going on into our next verse is going to come from Matthew 31 to 46. <sighs> when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate them from one another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats and he will set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on the left then the king will say to those on his those on his right hand come you blessed of my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world for I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer saying, answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in or naked and clothe you? 
or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, and as much as you did it to one of the least, least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will also say to those on his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into the everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. More like Dean. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger and you did not take me in. Naked and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison and you did not visit me. Then they then they also say also will answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty? Or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Assuredly, I say to you, and as much as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous will be eternal. So with those verses, these are my notes. Let me tell you all about. So I split it into three examples, and that's going to be time, talent, and treasures. Even though you don't always have to be generous with your treasures. So let's start this. Number one, treasures. For example, yes, we have people on the road that pretend to be homeless, and then they have a car in a parking lot, and it's nice, so you have to watch out. But you know those who are actually, like you can't really tell the difference, but this is how you tell the difference. A family member, a friend, even a stranger you don't know. If they are asking for food, get them food get them a water you know my mom told me the story once this guy was holding up the sign and he was like i need food and my mom had ritz crackers they were open but you know it's food and any person that's begging for food would take it no matter if you ate from it or not they're gonna take it because it's food so this guy she gave the ritz to the guy and he was like i don't want that and my mom was like well you're not hungry like he wanted money so, and then my mom told me another story. So her and my stepdad went somewhere and there was this homeless man and he had a sign and I want food, I need food. So they went to Popeye's and they got him a meal and they got gave it to him and he took it and then they gave him like a hundred dollars for his pocket and he was grateful. And my mom was like, that's how you know the difference. So someone's asking, saying they need something, give them what they need, not what they want, which is me. Number two from treasures. I want is a dangerous phrase when trying to be generous. Okay, so say that you're donating your favorite shirt and you're like, I don't want to give it away. I still want it. And your mom's like, but you never wore it. Like, why do you want it now? Like when you say I want, I want, I want, especially when you're trying to give up like food or snacks or water or clothes, shoes, especially jewelry. Like you're like, oh, but I want it. Like, hey, you're not wearing it. Give it to somebody who needs it. Okay. Clothes. You have enough of those. So. Three. Um, we can be generous for our treasures. Like you know, like clothes, like shoes, socks, like garments like people need that stuff like hey donate it to people if you're not wearing it yeah you can get money but don't sell it give it to those who need it so my second point is time so iso isolation is killing us depression when you're depressed do you want to be around people no you want to be by yourself and that's what isolation is when we were in 2020, a lot of people went depressed because, you know why? We were all isolated. We had no friends. Especially if you live alone. Like, I know you had to be depressed because you couldn't see nobody. Everybody was scared of getting COVID, you know? Well, not everybody because, you know, parents exist. But, like, yeah. Connection is key. Yes, we're still going through times where you got to wear a mask. But, hey, you have a phone. FaceTime somebody, call a family member, call your grandma, call your grandpa, call an uncle, call a cousin, call a friend you haven't heard from in a long time. Like, check up on people. Material things will never equal spending time with loved ones. 
like we gotta disconnect from these phones and social media and be with our family and our friends or people who love you. They ain't gotta be blood related. Be with people who make you happy. Connections. And then number three, being generous with our time. So, one, serving food. Go to a homeless shelter. I've done it before. It's actually fun. I made a lot of friends and I felt good when I saw everyone having a smile on their face. Singing the gospel. Singing. Like, singing is a talent. Dancing, praising, like those are talents. Like painting, like if you can draw, like draw, like use your talents, people. And like how I'm doing right now, spreading the word. And that's all I have for today. And I hope you learn from that and my mistakes and my stuttering that I had. <laughs> and you just have a generous life as a Christian. Like, hey, we are in hard times. We are in the last days. A lot of evil stuff has to happen before Jesus can come take his people home. And that's just how it gotta be. The devil thinks he can break you, but he can't. No matter how many punches he gives you, he won't break a thing and he gonna be looking stupid. And that's why the devil's so mad nowadays. Cause he know he can't stop us Christians. Okay. He can't stop us Christians and he never will. And he mad and he irritated, but that's what he get. But anyway, I wanna close this in a prayer. Father God, I pray for all of those who are watching this video now or whenever they have time, that they get my message. Have and be generous in your life. Like be generous. And God, I pray for those who aren't sure you're real or have doubt or lacking faith. God, be with those and, you know, be with them and be like, hey, I'm here. I'm your friend. I'm listening. Talk to me, you know? And encourage them to spread the word because we need to save people, especially in these times, Lord. And I pray that these people love their selves. No matter what the world says, what the devil says, I want them to see and focus on things above. Focus on getting to heaven. Focus on to getting into college. Focusing on losing weight. Whatever they're struggling with, I want them to focus and pray and be generous to others. Jesus name I pray, amen. Have a great one, y'all. Have a blessed day or night, whatever your time frame is. Ooh, y'all heard that voice crack? But anyways, have a good one.